In 2011, when Michael Dubin and Mark Levine founded the Dollar Shave Club, the idea was simple. For $1 a month, you as a customer could receive high-quality razors that were delivered right to your doorstep, so you could forget about those frustrating shopping experiences where you'd have to ask an employee to open a case when razors were locked annoyingly away. On top of that, you no longer have to pay $20 a month for an overpriced razor. The idea was simple, but still, some questions remained. How did they attract investors when they didn't even produce the razors themselves? They bought them wholesale from Asia. How would they get customers when they didn't even have a marketing budget? More than that, how was this business going to be a success when they didn't have any knowledge in this field? The answer is simple, through one YouTube video. When Michael was 7 years old, he decided he wanted to become a businessman. In high school, he was a kid who suffered from ADHD but went undiagnosed by teachers and doctors. Instead, he was described as the class clown and labeled as the student who would never amount to anything. But Michael was always passionate about comedy and writing. And after college, he became a part of the Upright Citizens Brigade or the UCB, which was an improvisational and sketch comedy group. For 8 years, while practicing his craft at the UCB, he worked in a variety of television and marketing positions. However, the dream of becoming a businessman never left him. And during all this time, being sponsored by his mother, he tried and tested numerous business ideas. But each of them failed. In December 2010, while at the Christmas party, he began talking to one of his father's friends, Mark Levine, who knew that Michael had dot-com experience and had done a few e-commerce projects. So he asked him for help selling 250,000 razors he had acquired wholesale from South Korea. Michael's mind suddenly became clear. He had always been annoyed by how much razor blades cost, and the purchasing process was also unpleasant. In addition to having to visit a pharmacy or grocery store, razors were frequently secured on a shelf or guarded behind a cash register. So to get a few blades, you had to pay $20 and ask a salesperson to unlock the rack. Hi, can you open the razor case, please? Photo ID. I'm just grabbing some razors. Grabbing? That was the moment when the idea popped in Mike's mind. What if he could sell the razors online, direct the consumer at a reasonable price? That would eliminate all those frustrations. As a result, the Dollar Shave Club was created. The goal was set, and now Mike was in the razor blade industry, where he had to compete with Gillette, an industry leader with 35,000 employees and an annual revenue of $10 billion. So when it came to getting the startup off the ground and attracting investors, Mike knew he needed to talk to men like him, men who were tired of paying more than $20 for a few razor blades due to a monopoly. He was aware that they needed to hit right in the feelings of future club members. Putting together his background in comedy and his experience in the market marketing field, Michael decided to produce a comedic launch video. For one month, he wrote the script for this video and developed the scenario all by himself. The video was finally posted to YouTube on March 6, 2012. It begins with founder Michael Dubin sitting at a desk. In less than 10 seconds, he's made his pitch. For a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Then he gets up, walks to the door, and confidently delivers the piece's defining line. Our blades are Great. It sets the tone for the rest of the segment, and for the next minute, viewers follow Dubin around the warehouse as he drops one-liners. And do you think your razor needs a vibrating handle, a flashlight, a back scratcher, and ten blades? Your handsome-ass grandfather had one blade and polio. Before passing a toddler shaving a man's head, dances with a bear and weaves in the features that make his razors work so well. The video went viral in minutes after the release, with the channel receiving 12,000 subscribers on their first day online. The launch was a huge success, all 250,000 razors were sold on the same day, and the site received so much traffic that it eventually crashed. Within three months, the video garnered more than 5 million views, and here's the key to the clip's success. The main theme in this and all following Dollar Shave Club videos is always one of the company's products and its value proposition. The Dollar Shave Club content may be humorous, but the goal is always to sell. Mike had earned the right to slip in information about the razor's features after establishing an emotional connection with his audience through humor. He'd made his audience laugh and in exchange he could take a few seconds of their time to talk about what was important to him, his product, transforming them from admiring audience members 
members to clients and customers. Customers were signing up for a $1 to Blade Razor. But here's the big secret. DSC didn't make any money if customers only purchased the $1 Razor. That was the entry-level offer to convince more members to join. The business model was simple. The company does not manufacture anything that it sells on the market. The products are purchased in bulk from other companies and sold to club members. It's a straightforward model for turning a profit by selling products at a higher price than they were purchased for. Subscribers become members of the club and receive products every month. Despite the fact that they are doing everything the same as any other company, their marketing strategy is unique. The Dollar Shave Club has positioned itself as a club rather than a traditional company, treating its customers as club members, not as simple clients or buyers. How many customers? Uh, we, we think of, uh, we, don't, we don't have customers, Jason, we have members. And <laughs> Some people want to join the club simply because of its unique and humorous personality. However, with great success came a competitive reaction, with Gillette suing the Dollar Shave Club. The world's biggest razor manufacturer is suing startup rival Dollar Shave Club. Gillette's suit is over alleged use of its patented technology. Gillette's market share has apparently been slipping. The suit claims that certain materials that coat Dollar Shave Club's blades violate a 2004 patent held by Gillette. It is apparently these coatings that keep the blade sharp. But in 2016, the fortune had smiled on Dubin's company and Dollar Shave Club was acquired by personal care products giant Unilever in a deal to be worth about $1 billion, making the founders filthy rich. To put it in perspective, this amount was worth five times the projected 2016 revenue of the company. What do you think about Michael Dubin and Dollar Shave Club? Leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you for staying until the end. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me on my way to the top, hit like and subscribe. See you next time.